Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So Ramen Shop is a Japanese film that has very little to do about ramen, but it has a lot to do with food, family, and culture. And very much like ingredients to a great meal, that's kind of where all of it comes in together to actually make this movie. So in general, the movie is about this guy named Masato. He is a ramen chef, and we meet him at a time when he's going through a very dark moment in his life. And so at this point, he decides to take a journey from Japan to Singapore, and that's where we have our story. And throughout this particular movie, we learn a lot about who Masato is, who his parents are, his family, the culture, and how food is integral to all of that. And the way in which this is done, it's done very naturally. You know, I kind of felt like at first this is going to be one of those standard, very dramatic films where they have some emotional scenes and all of those things are there as well. But the way in which it was told, I think it was done extremely well. And in this case, I think the best thing about this particular movie is first and foremost for me is the acting. Um, all of the people who played their roles in here, they played it so well so that the moments where you would have emotion come in, it would felt very natural. You know, um, there were many moments where you would probably going to shed a tear and that wouldn't happen if they didn't have good acting. And at the same time, you know, you going as Masato, you are pretty much in his shoes. You know, you're learning as he's learning. And then when those moments come, like I said, it's very natural and you kind of feel like all of these characters, they are real people. So that's the first thing. The acting for me was actually superb. And then the other thing is the actual story itself. Now the story itself, like I said, it's very simple, but the way in which they put all of these things together, there's many layers to them. And so even though there are moments of flashbacks, uh, things with the present, and things that you could predict that would happen, I just really feel like the way in which it is told, it helps build up the story, and most important, it helps build up the character. For, even for characters that aren't there, you know, and you kind of get what I mean when you actually watch it. And then uh, the final thing that I enjoyed about this movie is the actual food itself. Throughout this whole journey that Masato is going to, food is an element of the whole movie. And it's not just ramen. There's so many different types of food. And the thing is, all of that food, not only is it tied to this whole family story, but it is tied to culture. And the uh, culture that I'm talking about here is a combination of many cultures. It's Japanese, Chinese, uh, there's English in here as well. So there's many different elements and all of those things really are important to this story. And you'll kind of see what I mean as you're going through this entire movie. And by the end of the movie, very much like a good meal, I think you feel very satisfied with it. So Ramen Shop is a movie that I enjoy thoroughly. And I highly recommend that you check it out. You know, And if you're the type of person who loves food types movies, I think you'll enjoy this as well. Because there is quite a bit of food in here. And it actually made me hungry. So that is it. If you actually had any thoughts on Ramen Shop, um, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com, and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.